composition. It doesn't matter. It's really awesome. <laughs> this, this is the kill people team this composition. Is, this is mine and Ender's solo queue team composition. This is all we love to play. Fallacy that we see a lot of early Evelyn players do. You can just go up with the E and proc it most of the time. But casual first blood in the bottom. Catch a replay of that as Pookie is actually waiting just outside of vision. Meliodas is in range. Look at all the swords, Vedius. All of a sudden, though, it's rather that's running for his life. Meliodas gets the first kill on the board for Fungu Buffalo. Boogie can't do a whole lot as the Alu and the hate spikes are putting <laughs> some damage down. But Meliodas just stands toe to toe. Ooh. There's another engage. Chelsea we'll with the flash death sentence will connect onto Big Coro, and Betty gets a second. So we'll get to the bot lane play over these walls. Oftentimes, it'll pass through one of these areas. Here we go, mid though again. All right, trade of ultimates for now. Get the charm this time. Easily run yep. down, but they've taken over from the advantageous summoner uh -oh. spell position. Meliodas has got Cataclysm up. There goes Pallet, goes in with the Soul Shackles. Betty uses the clock for now. Shall see by some time before Rather arrives. Teleport completes from Hanabi, but Feng Fu Buffalo get two, and Vietnam erupts. Yeah, the Buffalo have had enough of the shenanigans on the bottom side. They spin the teleport. Meliodas is on the control ward there for the counter gank as well, and they get two kills back. Where is the Evelyn, though? She hasn't been spotted just yet. And here she comes, 3v4. Right, Taking a look at this. The uh -oh. last caress is available. That's a very good Vanguard's Edge. Going to disarm so many members of the Flash Wolves. Sliding and dashing across Zeros. Bleed surges all the way in. Manages to find the stun as well before he's taken down. It's three more kills for the Fungu Buffalo. Beautiful hey. dive in the 3v5 situation at the turret. Chelsea, what are you doing, man? Yeah, I'm not sure. Stepping forward. Not gonna get turned on just yet. I'm looking at the mini map. Some support coming up from Betty. <laughs> <laughs> Defend the Rift Herald Eye. <laughs> well, it doesn't look like Flash Wolves are gonna commit just yet. The Eye is still sitting here. Will time out shortly. Chelsea finds himself one. He's already got a kill onto Meliodas. Flash Wolves are grouped up. They've got a second as well as one back for Fungbu Buffalo. Boogie's running for his life. This here comes Big Koro. The Alua by some Flat is available and should go down with the boot cap from the Rift Herald. Picked up in favor of Fong Bupa. Right, let's take a look what Zeros can do. Flash not available to him. Vanguard's edge by some time. He's got so much damage. They're not going to be enough. He's in favor of PvP as the Mountain Drake is now secured. That's the second mountain of the game. He smited that one away as Meliodas throws the flag and drag down. Second tower secured in favor of PvP. Uh, correction. Favor of Flash Wolves. They will get their second tower. We now. Hanabi going to continue pushing Player, by the way. Well, let's see if it's going to help out. Zeros forced to flash away. This was the 2v1 earlier. Again, a lot of damage on Boogie. But Boogie and Hanabi easily able to pick up the kill. It is at the expense of the top tower. There might be a reply, though, because look mid lane as Flash Wolves are pushing. Yep, Flash Wolves have priority in mid and bottom lane right now. Now we've got another assassination. All right, let's take a look. What can Noel do? Shadow Assault has already been used. Noel hasn't used the hijack just yet. He's going to be able to steal it away, but the mid tower has fallen. The rest of PvP, they're pushing the top lane. They've got two towers in the top in exchange for both outer turrets. Right, Barret is going low. It's below a third hit point. Noel is going to get jumped on by Hanabi. Zeros turns around. Meliodas is peeled and fought. Cataclysm goes down. Betty throws out the ultimate, trying to look for a re-engage. The target is going to be in the mid lane. Noel is oh. staying alive. He uses that hourglass that Kobe talked about. Now Meliodas is the target. Hanabi decides to re-engage. Noel is zoned away. So is Zeros. Pallet is down. Flash Wolves have got themselves a double kill. They've stopped the Baron and they're in control. Flash out of the Callista ultimate. They've Found another kill. Boogie gets the shutdown, and Big Coral is down. Flash Wolves with 11 kills. Reclaim. The flank coming in from Hanabi to split up Noor from the rest of his team. Allowed Chelsea to then go on the offense. The flank came through from Hanabi. Everyone started splitting apart. Zeros went up towards the top lane. The Morgana from Palace on the siege, using that Baron empowered minions to push down this in a turret. And Boogie, he's stepping way forward, looking Lanes. for top. Baron empowered minions gonna be ushered in here. Use five flash wolves, five members will take down the tower. Zeros will finish his recall shortly. Still a minute and a bit of this Baron as Chelsea gets jumped on. Hasn't thrown down the box just yet. Instead, will get pulled back by the Fates Call. Gets spat back out. Noll is already down. The box goes down for any sort of retreat. Hanabi takes down Pallet and he's not done yet. Oh. Gets, the gets out of range of the Vanguard's edge. Just absolutely whiffs. Finds no targets at all. Flash Wolves will turn their attentions to the inhibitor and they might not be done yet. With 30 second death timers, they might be pushing for the win. Flash Wolves are feeling confident. They've still got the Baron buff out. Wolves are going to allow Boogie to solo the Infernal as he has done so. That's the second of the game. 
Baron is available. There is some vision from PvB and Shoutsy once again playing bait. <laughs> yeah. Got the Fates Call available to him. Killista throws it down. Rather, will sidestep the chain of corruption and Flash Wolves. They've created the chaos. Now they're looking for the re-engage. There's all the swords. Gonna throw himself in. Rather gets taken out by Big Coro. But there's so much damage coming out from Boogie. But it's Fong Boo Buffalo that seemed to be in the advantageous position. Super Minions on the Nexus turret. Boogie is trying to turn this Oi! That's one, that's two. Betty is hopping and skipping and jumping with the help of Hanabi. And Pallet is left alone. Gets taken out by Flash Wolves. And the Super Minions will be ushered onto the Nexus as the Flash Wolves use their assassins flawlessly. Not they, done just They can it. win a team fight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yes they can, Kobe. They're looking for the Nexus right now. Um, today we have proven that assassins are always the superior cop. That's definitely the case. Flash Wolves will finish MSI with a win of a Fong Vu a Buffalo. Hey! <laughs> Flashy ultimate right there. Back into everyone.